hello guys welcome to today's video so today in this video we'll be discussing some of the major components of a plane or the parts of a plane aircraft you know some of the important components of the aircraft are the fuselage the empanage the landing gear the cockpit the wings so these are some of the important components of the aircraft so we'll be discussing the functionality of each one of them in detail okay so as i have said the major components of an aeroplane are the fuselage the wings the empennage the engines and the landing gear so starting with the fuselage so from the diagram we know that fuselage is nothing but the body main body of the aircraft so what this main body consists of is nothing but the cockpit cockpit is where the pilot will sit inside so this is basically the cockpit okay next is the passenger so this is the passenger sitting area and also these are the cargo components i mean some of the luggages of the passengers will be kept inside the aircraft so that is nothing but the cargo comp compartments you can say so the fuselage consists of these three parts cockpit the passengers and the cargo compartments so in general you can say this is the main body of an aircraft okay so what is the cockpit so cockpit is basically it is sometimes also referred to as the flight deck okay and it is where the pilot will sit means the pilot and co-pilot Normally in an aircraft, two pilots will be there. One is the main pilot and other is the co-pilot. So they both will be sitting and that place where they sit is known as the cockpit. Next, as we have told, passenger is where the passengers will be sitting in the aircraft. And next is the cargo component where the luggage or the cargo will be kept. So this is nothing but the fuselage of the aircraft. Next important component is the wing area. So as from the diagram, we can see this entire thing is the wing. Okay. So the wing has one important component. Another component is a winglet. And they have some leading edges. So what functionality the wing provide is, the wing provides the majority of the lift of an aeroplane requires for the lift. We know from the, our previous classes that lift is nothing but the force which is acting upwards on the aircraft okay it is because of due to this lift only the aircraft will fly in air so from the diagram also we can see these wings no sometimes here the fuel fuel will be kept inside these wings so wings are also acting as a storage for the fuel so wings often has the integral fuel tanks which are used to power the engines so major functionality of wing is to provide the lift to an aeroplane and also act as an integral fuel tank so these two are the major component major functionalities of the wing if you see there is another component which is a part of wing which is at the end you can see this small triangle shape which is known as a winglet the important functionality of winglet is to reduce the drag on the aircraft so additional component called a winglet is located at the end of each wing so on the either side of the aircraft these winglets are there their purpose is to reduce the drag we know that the drag is nothing but the opposite force or the air resistance so let's say aircraft is moving forward i mean in this direction forward then drag will be on the backward opposite direction so this winglet will also help to reduce the drag the lesser the drag the faster the aircraft will move okay so that is the important functionality of winglet next moving to other components like aileron so aileron is also located it is somewhat nearer to the wing only so this in the diagram we can see the airlon is marked so what this airlon does is you know so airlon is as from the diagram we can say it is on the rear component of the wing and 
it is there on the either side of each wing okay so on either side of the aircraft we have this so since the aileron are there on either side so what happens is they work in opposite direction to each other like one is upwards then the other is downwards or when the other is upwards then the other is downwards so they work in opposite direction these two together okay so when one is raised the other is lowered what it does is no aileron the main functionality is to increase the lift on one wing while reducing the lift on the other so depending on which wing is i mean which aileron is lifted means increased then it will provide the lift and the, the one in which the aileron is on the other side it will reduce the lift so the major functionality is to provide the lift okay so this will help the aircraft to roll on the aircraft sideways causing the aircraft to turn so because of this lift one increasing lift on the other side and on downside it will help the aircraft to turn so one major functionality of aileron is to provide the aircraft to turn so these you have to remember next is so this is the wing area we have discussed so next is our empennage so these three that is the vertical stabilizer horizontal stabilizer and the so this entire tail of this aircraft is nothing but the empennage so the entire tail area of the aeroplane is nothing but the empennage so what it consists of it consists of the horizontal and vertical stabilizers which are primarily are nothing but the elevators and rudders so we'll be discussing about them one by one if you see from the diagram this horizontal stabilizer or this elevator is there here okay whereas this vertical this is a vertical stabilizer and the rudder is attached to this vertical stabilizer so what does the horizontal stabilizer will do you know the horizontal stabilizer is designed to provide a downward force push on the tail so it helps the it helps to keep the airplane's nose from moving up and down and the hinged part of the horizontal stabilizer is the elevator so what it does you know because of the weight of the aircraft is acting always downwards so this horizontal stabilizer will help to keep the aircraft balance so we'll see how this with the help of elevator how it does okay so elevator will help to elevate the aircraft it is located on the tail of the aircraft it directs the nose of the aircraft either upwards or downwards so with the help of elevators the nose which is the front part of the aircraft it can be either increased or decreased so because of this the aircraft movement can happen so the aeroplane can climb and descend so with the help of elevators only we are able to achieve this aeroplane climbing and descending the control is provided by this elevator and this elevator is a part of the horizontal stabilizer if you see from the diagram so this is the horizontal stabilizer okay and then this elevator is attached to it so this elevator with the help of this elevator only we are able to make sure that the aircraft nose is either climbing or descending so that is the functionality of the horizontal stabilizer next next is the vertical stabilizer so vertical stabilizer the primary function is it designed to stabilize the left and right motion of the aircraft okay and also it helps to prevent the side to side motion of the aircraft's nose which is nothing but the yaw the side to side motion is known as a yaw whereas the upwards and downwards motion is known as the pitch okay so the vertical stabilizer the important component is the rudder as we can see in this diagram this vertical stabilizer this rudder is attached to it okay so with the help of rudder the vertical stabilization is achieved so what this rudder does is so rudder is attached to the vertical stabilizer which is located on the tail of the aircraft it helps to steer the nose of the aircraft left or right okay so this rudder which is there on the tail 
with the help of this this can be moved right or left with the help of that the aircraft direction either it can move right or left so this turn the moving of right and left of the aircraft is achieved with the help of this radar so that is a major functionality of the radar that you have to remember the other important component of an aircraft is the engine you know so what is the main function of the engine is it takes the air that is there in the front of the aircraft and then it will accelerate the air and it pushing it out behind the aircraft so with this it is able to achieve the thrust that is needed for the plane to fly okay so that is what the engine works it major function is to provide the thrust of thrust to the aircraft so that the aircraft can move and it can fly how it does is it sucks the air which is there in the front of the engine if you see from the diagram so this is the engine okay this entire thing is the engine so the air which is there in the front of this engine it will suck the air and then it will accelerate the air and it will push on the back side because of this reaction because of this action the aircraft will move in the opposite direction so that is what the basic function of the engine is to help to create the thrust so depending on the aircraft type you know engine type will also vary so we'll discuss only two types one is jet powered aircraft other is a propeller powered so in the jet powered engines you know in this the air is compressed using the turbines as we have said that the air in the front of this aircraft is sucked and is pushed out so when the air is compressed inside it using the turbines then those are the jet powered engines okay whereas if they are instead of using the turbines if they are using a propeller then those engines are the propeller powered aircraft or propeller powered engines so this propeller mechanism is a huge chapter we can discuss sometime later but then basic functionality you can remember what the engine does is providing the thrust and then depending on the type of the engine and the type of mechanism used it provides a thrust so the next important another important component of the aircraft is the landing gear so landing gear is under the belly of the plane So if you go to the diagram, so normally you know here the one tire will be there, okay? You might have seen. So this tire will act as a this entire component which is there attached to the bottom of this aircraft is the landing gear. So what it does is it helps the aircraft to land safely. so what does the landing gear consist of it it consist of wheels with the tires attached to struts so this is the body of the aircraft and then here one small tire will be there and then this attachment is nothing but the strut okay so this is the landing tire or landing wheel so this entire component is the landing gear so because what the strut does is it helps to soften impact with the ground So in this video we have discussed some of the important and the major components of the aircraft that is from the starting with the fuselage fuselage then we have discussed the wings then we have discussed the tail of the plane and the landing gear of the plane and also the wings so these are some of the important components some other parts like spoilers flaps and some other parts are left out we'll discuss in some another video okay so if you have liked the video and if at all you have any doubts on this topic you can comment below i'll be happy to share my knowledge on this and if you have liked the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos and thank you for watching